What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 15 tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate a nice map slash drone effect. So let's say that you want to have some nice drone footage but you but you don't have uh, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, maybe thousand uh, dollars like laying around to buy an actual drone. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to recreate this awesome effect and it's going to look so, so realistic like you guys have seen in the intro. So I would say make sure to smash that like button down below for this video and I would say let's get started. So as you can see we are in Vegas Pro and we need actually uh, a photo of uh, an image and we're gonna use Google uh, Google Earth uh, for this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to our browser and go to Google Earth and what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna click on uh, launch Google Earth and right here we're gonna pick a nice photo of a place and we're gonna make that you know photo look like it's a uh, footage from a drone camera so I'm gonna just pick a random um, a location let's let's say that we're gonna pick New York for example just a regular random place on the earth it could be New York it could be anything else so what we're gonna do is as you can see right now this is the footage of a part of New York and we're gonna recreate that this is going to be our drone footage so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zoom in a little bit then what we're gonna do is we are going to um, make a photo of this so I'm going to pick a nice realistic part so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, just make a photo or just print screen in general until it is a nice 1920 by 1080 image so I'm gonna just make uh, that photo real quick using Giazzo something else you guys can use print screen on your keyboard or take a photo I'm gonna just use Giazzo for this go ahead and select a part that's going to be our drone footage so so, you know the names of the places are in the screen but we're just gonna disregard that for now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the photo then what we're gonna do is the photo will pop up in an external browser and we're gonna save this image and we're gonna drag that into Vegas okay guys so as you can see this is the picture of the uh, the photo that we just took as you can see on Google Earth then what we're gonna do the second thing is we're gonna make a little zoom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut it right here uh, like this then we're gonna go to the event pan crop icon we're gonna just zoom uh, all the way in let me try to do that let's just go ahead and zoom in as much as we can then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very end and we're gonna just go ahead and right click and click restore so it looks like the drone is sent into the into the sky like this as you can see that one looks really really tight but I'm gonna make it a little bit faster though let's see how I can do that and this is how amazing it looks now what we're gonna do then is we're gonna uh, apply a nice little uh, color correction on it so we're gonna go to the effects tab of the photo I'm gonna just add in true glare, uh, glare with letterbox click on add click on ok and you guys probably won't have those color correction presets because you have, you have to download them um, like externally so once you've done that as you can see this image looks really really tight boom so that one looks like the drone is in the air, but obviously drones are flying and they're moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this image uh, float a little bit. So we're going to create the fake camera movement, movement rather, go to the event pan crop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck those two. We're going to create a keyframe right here. And then what we're going to do is like, for example, oh, um, we need to right click properties, unche uncheck maintain aspect ratio and... and and disable the resample. So once you've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just mess around a little bit with like the the resolution and the aspect radio. So it looks that we are messing, uh, that the camera is in fact flying into the air like so. So I'm gonna keep making some keyframes like this. So if you play back the video, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, this is looking like the drone is flying on in, in the air actually. So that one looks really, really cool. And obviously we need clouds as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a picture of a cloud, very, very basic, which is going to be this one. And we're gonna obviously remove the blue. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab. 
Then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see chroma key. Then drag the default one on top of it. Then we're going to just uncheck it for a second. Click on this blue icon, click on the pencil, and we're going to pick it around here. If we recheck the chroma key, as you can see, the sky and the cloud is there. So I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the low threshold a little bit. And then also with the blur amount. So as you can see, this one looks cool and that looks like a real legit cloud. But then we're going to lower the opacity just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the track motion icon and we're going to resize this a little bit. So make it a little bit bigger and we're going to place it like for example like this in the corner. Then what we're going to do is we're going to also make those clouds uh, float around. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a keyframe uh, right here. And I'm going to just make it make sure to zoom in a little bit, create a new keyframe like this, make it restore again, click a new keyframe like this. I'll create a new keyframe like so and as you can see this one is a really really tight effect and as you can see the cloud is also moving and that looks that the drone is flying into the air that looks freaking sick and we're gonna obviously duplicate this track and we're gonna you know go to the track motion icon and we're gonna replace this to the top so we have both clouds onto the screen and this is how it looks with two clouds and that's how simple it is Obviously we're gonna just go ahead and create a nice fade in with the clouds so it looks realistic and that is how awesome it looks. So that's how to do it guys. This is how you create the drone effect. It is that awesome and obviously you can just add in sound effects and music and this is the end result. Enjoy. So that is it guys, I want to thank you for watching, thank you for the continued support, I cannot do this without you guys, we're approaching 152,000 subscribers, we're growing so fast, and guys make sure to turn on the notifications on my YouTube channel, because I will be going live as well. So you guys can interact with me live and ask me questions and how to do certain things in Vegas Pro. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. So make sure to stay tuned. Keep your eyes and ear open on your sub boxes. And I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.